back in the days when Divisoria and Kogon was the center of business, shopping, and leisure in the city. Those were the days when life in Kaga and the Oro City was laid back. Traffic jam was not yet in Cagayanon's vocabulary. PU Minica was our taxi. Small jeepneys were so cute carrying passengers running around the city. And motorillas and tartanillas were our regular transportation. Amphitheater was the Cagayanon's center stage every time there are public gatherings, meetings, and entertainment. Speaking of entertainment, Cagayanons back then were regular patrons of movie houses, especially during the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and malls were not yet present in the city during those years, and standalone movie houses are the Cagayanons' best place to enjoy watching the latest movies back then. So here are some of the old standalone movie houses back in those days, that are still standing somewhere around the city of Golden Friendship. Rizal Theater, along Capistrano Corner, Montalban Streets. This was one of Cagayanon's favorite theater because it is a bit cheaper. But one of the best experience of Cagayanon's here was the original La Paz Bachoy, situated on the right side of the theater. The Rizal Theater is now being used by the North Point City Church Religious Organization. Gold Theater, situated along Capistrano Mabini Streets. This one has its own golden years during those time, but they stopped operation around the 80s when the new theaters came in. It is now being used by the Jesus is Lord Church Organization. Cairo Cinema, also located along the Capistrano Street, but it is situated between Pacana and Yacapin Streets. It is now Seymour Supermarket. But this was considered the largest among the old cinemas back then. The building was owned by Lim Kip Kai. Rocket Theater. This one is situated closest to Divisoria Park along Capistrano across the old streets. But it is the most unique exterior among the old cinemas in the city. Nation Theater. This was one of the oldest theater in CDO around 1940s as the Glory Theater, but most Cagayanons now only known this as the Nation Theater, and then became famous in the recent years as Novu, but it is now currently used by Lucky Prism Trading. World Theater, also one of the oldest cinema in CDO. It was originally named Reina Theater and then became Janet, and then the last one was World Theater. It is now being used by Gaisano Soki Club Gothic Theater, located along Osminia Corner, Hosto Ramonal Streets. Accordingly, this was the last standalone theaters that was constructed in the city before the rise of shopping malls in CDO. Gala Theater located at GR Borja Aguinaldo Streets. Gala Theater was a premium theater back then, showing the latest movies during its years. Around the late 1990s, the theater shifted to feature R-rated films and was being known for that until it was being destroyed by fire. The existing building right now was not the original building. It was reconstructed and was turned into a commercial building. Sky High Cinemas this was the modern cinema back in the 80s and 90s offering Dolby surround sound with their four cinemas. The latest technology in cinema experience back then. Sky High Cinema has two different locations. Cinema 1 and 2 are located at Jarborha Corner Daomar Streets and Cinema 3 and 4 are located at Jarborha Corner Capistrano Streets. Sky High got its glory days as the best choice of Kagai Anons when it comes to movies until Limkit Kai Mall came in the picture around 1994 and 1995. After that year, standalone cinemas has been neglected by the moviegoers as they prefer cinemas inside the malls. And the standalone cinemas started showing R-rated films just to attract customers somehow until such time that their earnings cannot compensate the operational costs that they needed to close down their business. 
Today, movie houses in CDO are all located inside the malls. Limket Kai Mall has four cinemas. Gaisano Mall also has four cinemas. SMCT Uptown also has four cinemas. Centrio Ayala Mall has four cinemas. SMCDO Downtown Premier has seven cinemas, including the Director's Club and Mega Screen Cinema. Aurorama Mega Center has three cinemas around late 1990s but was destroyed by fire and they didn't reconstruct the building. It is now pure gold supermarket. How about you? Have you experienced watching movies in one of these standalone movie theaters back then? Comment down your experience and please subscribe. Until next time.